Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer. And today we're gonna do a, a, a basically a response to the magazines that have come out with like the best makeup for 2021. I'll be having my own best of and worst of coming up, but I, <laughs> I've been reading some of these articles um, just to sort of jog my memory about everything that I've tried this year. And I gotta tell you, I, I don't know where these people get this stuff. But anyway, I thought it'd be fun just to do kind of a reaction video. So what I'll do is I will have, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this works, um, on the screen next to me, the scroll as I'm looking at these and that you know, you'll see my reaction in time with the scroll. So we'll see. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so like I said, hopefully the scroll is gonna pop up. I'm gonna pull out my, uh, my phone here and let's see if this works. All right, so this is the W, the 20 best beauty products of 2021. So this is W Magazine, which I used to like absolutely love. Um, and I, I, so I took a look at it just to kind of see it. We're gonna scroll. Yes, we've got lots of ads, we've got scrolling. Okay, so the first one is the Revive Skincare Po Magnif Magnifique Serum for $750. Look, I know, I mean, I get it. I spent a lot of money on beauty and luxury beauty, but $750 for a serum seems high. Uh, I use a lot of great products. Um, I, Revive I've used once. I have not used this product, um, and I had, unfortunately, a reaction to it. What I would say is, if this actually, like, made me look 20, I would totally use it, but from my experience, that does not happen. Uh, okay, so the next is the serum by Augustinus Bader. This is 375. The only thing I have by Augustinus Bader or Bader, I think it's Bader, right? Um, is the work that she did, the collab she did with Victoria Beckham, and that's the primer. I actually like that. Um, and I have it in gold and I have it in just the original one. I think that one's really good. Um, but I had tried the Augustinus Bader Rich Cream. I think it was, yeah, the Rich Cream. And honestly, I didn't like it. So I'm like, okay, not, not getting that. Um, Pat McGrath Labs Liquid Lust Matte Lipstick. Totally agree with Pat McGrath being on here, but I haven't tried this. Now it says it's the most sublime red matte lipstick that lasts continuously, moisturizing without any caking or flaking over time. I would actually like to try that because I have not found any liquid lip product except for the Chanel Tenues that I can wear comfortably. There are matte lipsticks, but they're not really matte. They're like velvet lipsticks that I can wear, but somebody's gotta let me know if they've tried this because if that's actually true, I, I will try it. This is a brand I've never heard of. So Agent Natur Holy Bright Resurface Glass Face Mask. It says glowing skin is taken to another level with this resurfacing mask created for all skin types. No downtown and delivers softer glowing skin. Uses aloe vera and cucumber to calm and hydrate the skin. Lactic acid is the exfoliating component here, which works with French silk peptides to smooth out your skin's natural texture without irritating or causing any redness. This mask is also ideal for those with acne because it includes sodium ascorbyl phosphate, which is a vitamin C derivative known in the dermal world to help minimize acne breakouts. So. I just think this is really kind of interesting and you know I I might actually try this I had never heard of the brand always good to try new things I just it's so interesting to me like where they even got these things so I'm like I've never even heard of this and I spent a lot of time and attention on this um, the Dr. Barber Sturm super anti-aging face cream for $360 I have used Dr. Sturm's uh, line of products and to be honest with you, I think they're good. I'm not saying anything bad. Um, but the only thing that I loved, like just think is much better than everybody else's, is her hyaluronic acid. There's something about the way it's formulated. Somebody with, you know, a chemistry background or somebody who's a dermatologist can weigh in here. But it does seem to penetrate better. And it does leave my skin when I put moisturizer over it more moisturized. This new day to night moisturizer says that the texture is light and hydrating so there's not an overly weighted feel 
but it's the first moisturizer to include hyaluronic acid to support the skin's barrier for protection against environmental stressors. So I might, I might want to try it for $360. Um, Yensa Superfood Cleansing Oil, $38. Haven't heard of this brand either. Um, inspired by Chinese superfoods and ancient rituals, dual phase makeup remover and cleanser removes impurities of face and eye makeup while still nourishing the skin. Where is it, guys? Is it me? It, have I just not been paying attention? Like, I don't know where they even got these things. Okay, um, Sisley. So this is the Sislia La Integral Radiance Anti Dark Spot Serum. So this is five hundred seventy dollars. I do have this. I have been using this. I do think it works. Um, I think it says, but this serum delivers visible results almost overnight. But that's not true. <laughs> I think it does work, but I think you have to use it all of the time. I think you have to wear it, use it, you know, morning and night for like two months, which is what you should have to do with any of these products because they're not uh, medical grade products. You know, if you go in and have your face lasered, which I've had done, it's very different than, you know, just using a serum. I do think it works though. I'm not dissing it. I think it's a good product. I just, I, I don't like the way I don't like the way these things are hyped sometimes. That's just me. All right, so the Dior Attic Lip Glow Oil in uh, 006 Berry. I don't have a lip glow oil from Dior. How do I not have this? I don't know. I don't think I'd get the berry. Like, I, I'm hoping they have different shades. Um, but you know, I love a good, very expensive lip oil or lip balm, like a good one, um, to spend a ridiculous amount of money on something that will last like five seconds. That's me. So... I now feel like that is also on my list. Thank you, W Magazine. Uh, Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair Serum and Cream Treatment. I, mean, I, I, I know what Tatcha is. Um, I've tried their products. Wasn't I mean, they're, they're fine, but I never was like blown away. Um, this says this cream transforms stressed out skin overnight using high caliber ingredients. My skin is very stressed. I am very stressed, so. I need the, <laughs> I need this. So stressed, guys. Um, it says, I'll apply it at night and wake up in the morning with no redness and soft, hydrated, dewy, radiant skin. See, I want to try this too. See, this is the problem. We read these things and we're like, oh, oh, well, I won't have any redness, so I must buy this. Uh, St. Jane Hydrating Petal Cream. I know what St. Jane is. This is $68. Um, I've never tried anything from St. Jane. You have to let me know. Lawless Beauty Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Gloss in Daisy Pink. I do have some eyeshadows from Lawless. I do like them. Um, and this looks kind of interesting, but I don't tend to like lip plumping because that always seems to me that there's something in it, I don't know, that like irritates your lip. Maybe I'll put that. You guys let me know. Have you, and has anyone tried that? Okay, um, another brand I've never heard of. <laughs> Chlor Unseasonal Kind Face Oil. It's $90. Uh, used to be, to, to be used two to three times a week. This potent blend of squalene, uh, CoQ10, and vitamin C and E works intelligently with your skin's chemistry to protect the skin's barrier and surface lipids. It says it's garnered uh, much attention lately from revered facialists, including Beverly Hills, Based skin expert, um, da, 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 da. See, the thing is, though, you can't. This is why it's so important for people who have channels, and I don't just mean me, I like anyone to be really honest in their reviews because I read this and this all sounds spectacular. And maybe it all is, but I'm just like, how can these things all do these? I mean, okay. Um, Lancome La Tente Idol Concealer, Concealer. At least I know who Lancome is. Uh, it's $29. I've never used it. I've never used this concealer. Uh, it says it's lightweight and melts into the skin while still offering full coverage and a natural matte finish. It is true 24 hour wear and does not crease or cake throughout the day. I should try that. I've never really come across a concealer that I love. Tom Ford one's good. The, the Chanel one is good. I like them both. Pat McGrath one is good. Um, but I've never been like, oh, this, like, I've never blown away to be really honest. 
Um, Alta MD UV Sheer Broad Spectrum 50. Okay. I know who that is. Um, sunscreen, very important. I'm good with that. There's so many ads, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just like so many ads. There's so many ads. Um, okay, the Biologique Recherche Serum Lip Pomos. Lip Pomos? Bid farewell to the appearance of puffy eyes with this advanced serum that uses scientifically formulated ingredients containing triple osmoregulatory lipo lipolictic and firming actions. In simpler terms, well, that would have been helpful about five seconds ago. If you suffer from puffy eyes brought in by dehydration or water retention, this eye serum will diminish that drastically. Any signs of that? Well, that makes sense. Okay. Now, Biologique. I have tried things from Biologique, um, and I actually really do recommend them as a brand. They are harder to get your hands on. There's a couple of places that you can order online, and there's some people here online that you can order from as well. I know Abby Bliss White their products a lot. And I do, I do really like their products. Um, and I do recommend them. It's just because they're harder to get. I ha I don't have as many in my lineup, but that might be something that I, I don't get too many puffy eyes, but you know, we'll see. Um, okay. Drunk elephant C firm or fresh day vitamin C serum. So I know what drunk elephant is. Um, this is a revamped vitamin C serum. It has 15% vitamin C and 1% vitamin E complex. I tend to stay away from these types of things because my skin is so sensitive. If you haven't watched my channel before, I have rosacea, I have very sensitive skin. Um, I have react reactionary skin. I react to everything. Um, so it says this one is unscented and gentle on it, sensitive skin. So maybe it would be something I tried. I have tried, like I said, Drunk Elephant. I just, I don't know, I never really got, I never really found something that I just absolutely loved. Okay, don't know what this is either. I, I know, I mean, I know, you'll see. It's Goop Jeans All-in-One Super Nutrient Face Oil. So this is from Goop, uh, I assume. Uh, aside from all the clinical results and the nutrient-rich benefits, this face oil simply gives one of the best, most dewy glows ever. Unlike many other face oils on the market, it never appears oily when applied either. Hmm. I do love a good face oil. Shantikai is my favorite. Okay. Um, Alo's Beauty, that Luminous Glow Sheet Mask. See, this is these are supposed to be the best things of 2021, and I've never heard of half of them. Uh, I am obviously so out of everything. This is one of the best tightening and glow-inducing sheet masks ever created. Using a combination of Japanese rice sake, yeast derived from ferments, and a signature olive complex, this product is thoroughly effective and deserves recognition. Okay. I've, I've never, I mean, I know JLo Beauty, don't get me wrong, but I have not heard of this product. Do you want me to try it? I certainly will. It's just, I seriously need to read more. Okay, Charlotte Tilbury Cryo Recovery Depuffing Eye Serum. I have heard about this, $68. It's like, it's got that silver metal, well, hopefully you're seeing this. Um, the Ice Awake, like, you know, caffeine. Again, I don't really get puffy eyes. The one that I use, the Sisley product, is the one that I think is amazing and it's enough for me, but I don't really get puffy. I get lots of other things. I just don't get puffy eyes. Uh, okay, Joanna Vargas Polish and Refine Exfoliating Mask. Ex exfoliating Mask. I do know Joanna Vargas. Uh, for use once or twice a week, physical and chemical multitasking exfoliant, resur exfoliant resurfaces skin exceptionally well, giving way to super soft skin. I've heard great things about Joanna Vargas. Um, I just haven't tried anything. Maybe these are, this is my list for like 2022. Is that, is that what we're doing here? Okay. So that was W Magazine. Um, all right. Let me find the other one that I wanted to tell you about, like to react to. Cause it was the one where I was just like, what? Let me see if I can grab it real quick. Hey everyone. Editing Jen here. I forgot to put in the giveaway. <laughs> Sorry. So what I'm giving away today um, in this video is the Dior Ekron Couture Palette. This is the outside box. This is what's in it. If you haven't seen my video, I absolutely love this palette. I think it's one of my favorites of the year. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is be following me on this channel. Make sure you subscribe. Um, and put down below in the comments whatever you'd like. Hello. <laughs> whatever. But make sure I have a way to reach you. If you're not on Instagram, 
you can't, my understanding now is that you can't put your email address because YouTube deletes comments with email addresses. So just say that you don't, you're not on Instagram and I'll post something on the community page from, for YouTube so that you can see it there. So hopefully that will work. All right, back to the video. Okay, the next one is uh, Birdie, which I has like lots of really cool best of everythings. Um, and they have the best makeup products that came out just like the other day. And they have best primer, best foundation. They have a whole list. Uh, they have 26 different categories. So I'm just gonna go and, and take a look here. Their best primer, they say, is the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Primer. Have you guys heard of that? I mean, I know e.l.f., but Jelly Pop Primer, it says grip space uh, makeup for all day wear. Contains hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, vitamins A, C, and E, and it's very affordable. It's vegan and cruelty free, free which I think are great. Um, I don't really wear too many primers, but that's kind of an interesting thing to me because I do like to try them because I know you guys are all interested in primers and I don't tend to use them. Um, best foundation, Giorgio Armani Neo Nude Foundation. Now, I never tried this, but I had heard that it didn't work for a lot of people. At least that's what I heard. Now, maybe I heard completely wrong. This says it's light to medium coverage, dewy finish. Thoughts, guys? You gotta help me here. I'm trying, I'm like, I'm going through this thinking, okay, maybe these are things that I need to try for 2022 because as I went through these lists and looked, I was like, I have either not tried these products or don't even know what they are. Um, Tower 28 Best Tinted Moisturizer. I know Tower 28. I have the, what is it, Happy Days? <laughs> That's probably not it. But anyway, uh, the blush, which I love. Um, but I never tried their, their tinted sunscreen, um, their tinted foundation. So, it has an SPM of 30, buildable coverage, formulated with sensitive skin in mind, which is me. Like, that's me. Hmm. I'm like, I'm feeling, <laughs> feeling like I haven't done a very good job this year. Okay, okay, and then the next one is Best Skin Tint um, from Amy Cole. It's Amy Cole Skin Enhancing Tint. It says, made specifically for melanin-rich skin, available in six flexible shades. Uh... Uh, it says, I prefer to wear lightweight complexion products such as skin tints. Um, this is a, they, they say, this one is a, a really excellent one. Oh, interesting. Okay. Leaves behind a stunning satin finish. Okay. Best concealer, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Okay. I have not used this, so I'm going to refrain from saying specifically, but again, <laughs> I've heard for people who have like drier skin like myself that this is not a good choice. Let me know if I'm wrong. Um, best cream blush, Rare Beauty Stay Vulnerable Melting Cream Brush Blush. Haven't tried this either. The only thing I've tried by Rare Beauty is the mascara, which I love. So maybe I should, <laughs> I should get this. Guys, where have I been? How did I miss all of this? Okay, best powder blush, Clinique. Uh, Clinique Cheek Pop Blush. Have not tried it. So it's long wear formula, buildable color. Okay, best bronzer, Victoria Beckham Beauty Matte Bronzing Brick. Now I do have a lot of Victoria Beckham and I'm very familiar with Victoria Beckham, but I was told at least by the people who I know who tried it is that the compact didn't work and that was just really annoying to people. And I also thought, again, this is, I haven't used it, that it was warm. Um, so it wouldn't, I really like a cool tone bronzer. Um, please let me know if I'm completely off base and then I need to try it. Let me know. Um, best liquid highlight, M Cosmetics Moonbeam Cushion Highlighter. Again, <laughs> I haven't tried this. Um, M Cosmetics, I do know M Cosmetics. It says infused with hyaluronic acid, easy to blend, creates an ethereal glow. This is good. Uh, best powder highlight, Cure Weiss Powder Highlight. I have some Cure Weiss, um, but I haven't tried the highlighter. Best multi-use makeup product, Danessa Myrick's Color Fix 24 Hour Cream Color. I agree with that. Uh, I, here's one I've actually tried. Danessa Myrick's Color Fix is excellent. I love the Danessa Myrick's products. Uh, best liquid eyeshadow, About Face Matte Fluid Eye Paint. Huh. I don't know them. Unique Matte Super Pigmented Formula. 
Okay. Yeah, I guess because it's, you know, it's a matte formula. There probably aren't too many of those. That's interesting. Okay. Um, best powder eyeshadow, Pat McGrath Labs Eye Dolls Eyeshadow. So these are the single shadows. I don't have those. I will absolutely agree that Pat McGrath has amazing eyeshadows. So I'm good with that. <laughs> I just don't, I don't have the single ones. I'm failing. Uh, I'm really, I'm failing here really badly. Okay, best eyeliner pencil. Kulthi Beauty Underline Kajal Eyeliner. Okay. Uh, no, I have not tried it. It says, I'm a huge fan of Underline Kajal Eyeliner in Rain Check, which is a striking teal blue. Sounds beautiful. It's, uh, Kulthi is a female South Asian owned business founded by visionary Priyanka Janju. I would love to try that. Okay, that's a great recommendation. Uh, best liquid eyeliner, Makeup by Mario, Master Matte's Liquid Liner. I don't think I have that either. At least I know what that is. All right, so maybe that should go on my list. Best eyebrow product. Okay, one not only I have, but I totally agree with. <laughs> I'm excited. Kosas Airbrow Tinted Clean Volumizing Eyebrow Gel. I have this product in Auburn. It's my favorite thing of all time. Love it does a great job on my brows. I have it in Auburn. It's amazing. Okay, oh, I got one. Um, best mascara, Oma Beauty's Balm Extreme Volume Mascara. I have not tried it. I like Oma Beauty, but I don't, I haven't had that. I'm gonna try that. Um, the best lipstick is Mented Matte Lipstick. Best Tinted Lip Balm. Dior Addict Lip Glow. Don't have that either. <laughs> Best Lip Gloss, Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Universal Lip Luminizer. I do like those. Those are extremely good. They're, they're really flattering, they're really pretty. I do like them. Um, Best Makeup Brushes, the Spectrum Katie Jane Hughes 25 Piece Brush Set. I do have that brush set, it's a great brush set. I wouldn't say it's my favorite of 2021, but it's very good. Um, Best Makeup Sponge, the Beauty Blender Original Makeup Sponge. Actually, not my favorite, but I have tried it. Best Glitter, Bodyography Glitter Pigment. I've never heard of it. Best Makeup Palette, Eyes. Rowan Beauty 75 Degree Warm Eyeshadow Palette. You know, I've heard, I've heard about Rowan. I haven't tried it. Let me know what you think. Um, best Makeup Palette Face, Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look in a Palette in Sunset Dreamscape. I do like the Charlotte Tilbury palettes, face palettes. I don't have this one, but I like, I like Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, best Nail Polish, Sunday's Nail Polish. I don't know Sunday's. Sunday's Nail Studio is a lovely salon, two locations in New York City. Oh, okay. I'm not familiar with them. I'm gonna have to try those out. Okay, we also have InStyle that came out with like best products, but this is interesting because it's reader's selection of the best products. So we've got the best lipstick, Pat McGrath Labs Liquid Lust, Legendary Wear Matte Lipstick. Everyone seems to love matte lipstick except for me. That's interesting. Maybe I should try. Um, best lip product, Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Cream Color Drip Lip Cream. Do you love that? That's really good. Best Blush Glossier Cloud Paint in Spark. I do have the Glossier Glossier Cloud Paint. I don't have it in Spark, but I do like it. It's like a no makeup makeup look. Uh, best Eyeshadow, Charlotte Tilbury Look of Love Instant Look in a Palette. Oh, that's interesting. I don't have that. Like, but I, it, I do get the Charlotte uh, Charlotte Tilbury Palette, like face palettes, eye palettes things. They're easier to use. They, you know, they give you exactly what you expect. I totally get that. Um, Best mascara, Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Hot a Sky High Mascara. Huh, I've never tried that. I haven't tried that. Best foundation, Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. Haven't tried that either. I have heard of it, um, and I did kind of put it on my list, and then I don't know why it came off my list. Should I try that? <laughs> I'm basically asking you for advice. I'm basically asking you to do my work for me. I'm like, hey, should I try that? Should I try that? Um, Best concealer, Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer. Again, with the sharp, the, with the Tarte Shape Tape. I, I just, I've heard that's just not good for dry skin. Um, best eyeliner, Stila Stay All Day Dual Ended Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. 
I like, I used to use more Stila, so I would try that. Um, best brow product, Benefit Cosmetics Brow Microfilling Pen. I don't, I have not tried that, but I'm sorry, the Kosas is the best. At least according to me. Uh, best bronzer, Chanel Le Beige's Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. That's interesting. I've had, you know, I had it before it was called the bronzing cream, but I do love that thing, the tub of bronzer. Um, that's interesting. Okay. Best highlighter, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, Volume 2. I don't have this one. I have to say, though, guys, I do have the, like, the, the Hourglass palettes that come out, you know, every year. Um, and I did a video on them. They actually look really good on me, and I do like the formula, so. A viral makeup product, the e.l.f. Cosmetics Poreless Putty Primer. This uniquely textured primer is one of the most talked about products on the internet for a reason. Why do I not know this? Okay. Um, it instantly hides pores and blemishes while creating a smooth, soft base that amplifies the look of products as you layer them on. Okay. <laughs> um, editor's pick. Laneige, Laneige Lip Treatment Balm. I do have Laneige, like the sleep ones. I do like those. Um, editor's pick, Estee Lauder Pure Color Illuminating Shine Cheer Shine Lipstick. Oh, I haven't tried that. It says, when all I want is a subtle, subtle wash of color, I pick up one of these tinted balms. I would probably like that, because I like an expensive <laughs> tinted balm. Um, editor's pick, Chantecai Luminescent Eyeshade in Zebra. Totally agree. It's, it's a beautiful shade. It's a rose gold, it's shimmery, it's stunning. It's beautiful. Editor's pick, Revital Lash Cosmetics, Revital Lash Advanced Eyelash Conditioner and Serum. I've heard great things, I don't have it. I, I don't put anything on my eyelashes. Editor's picked Amy Cole Skin Enhancing Tint. Okay, seems like that's a pop, maybe I should check that out. Okay. And I think that's it, guys. Now, there were lots of other, um, you know, I know that uh, Glamour did one, and I think the It List did one, and Allure did one. I, there's there's tons that were, you know, different magazines. But I just thought it would be fun because these were ones that I was kind of scrolling through. W sort of represents that, if you will, higher-end luxury market. Um, uh, Birdie has kind of like um, more of a eclectic, sort of, you know, in inclusive, um, diverse uh, group of products that they tend to talk about and recommend, so that would be interesting. And then InStyle, I picked that because it's the consumer who's picking those things um, with the editor's, you know, picks at the end, so that would be kind of interesting to see. And I have to say, like, overall, <laughs> I felt really, really out of it because I didn't either know of the brands or if I knew of them, like I hadn't tried the products. So um, I'd love to hear from all of you for any of those, like are there things that you think are really good that I should try out? Am I totally missing, which is entirely possible, a lot of great things. Uh, there was some on there that really intrigued me and uh, I kind of want to put them on my list for 2022. You know, as, as we all do, like at the end of the year before the beginning of a new year, kind of setting, not goal, you know, but like ideas, thoughts, goals, whatever you want to call them. And I would love to try to, to do some different things every once in a while, including trying different products, uh, maybe branch out into things that I don't necessarily always use just to see. And uh, so if there are any brands or products or any of the things that I brought up today or any that, you know, you use and you love, um, I'd love to hear about them. I think that'd be great. And I just want to do something a little bit different for this video. You know, you're getting a lot, I'm doing a lot of reviews and I've got all new products and I'm going to do the best of and the worst of it that's coming right, you know, basically behind this. Um, there'll be a vlog as well, but, uh, you know, just wanted to throw in something a little bit different. So thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.